All right, hey guys, um, it's Cage Kiddo One again, and today I'm gonna show you a review of the Go Chat for Facebook widget. I use it all the time because I am an avid Facebook user. Oh no, on my phone, and I do love to talk to people, so I'm just gonna give you guys a run through. So you click on the widget and it has a login. And when you first click on it, it'll have your basic information like the email and password. And if you click remember login, it'll never ask you for it again. It'll just have your picture on it, and that's my picture, and then you just log in. And then it'll log in. And then there you have pretty much everything. And right now I have a theme for it. And there's a separate, I guess it's an app that you can download in the Android market, and it's just called Theme for go chat for Facebook and I guess I can show you guys that while I show you the rest of everything else so you click the options menu button or it's called it and you click preferences and then you say it has message notification where it just tells you if you have a message and it has a login on phone boot and I guess if you like to talk to people a lot you can have that going for you or whatever and then it has show open chat um, Basically, it's just a file where, I'll show you guys, it's just, if I open up this, start a conversation with him, then start a conversation with her, hmm, fine, it's not going to do it for me, okay, I guess I have to type something, random message to friend, hey, send, and see, it'll have open chats. And then, yeah, you just get to see who all you're talking to at one time instead of scrolling through this list of people looking for someone you're talking to. And you want to head back to preferences. And then you can turn that on or turn that off if you want to search through. And then it has show favorites. And you can actually click on someone where, I'll show you. You can long press on someone and it will say add to favorite, therefore you can add them. And the reason that that's pretty important or at least worth something is you have a whole favorite notifications setting. You can have favorite sound um, when they, what do you call it, when they message you or when they get online or offline so you can know the people that you need to talk to are on. They have, you can have them for a different vibrating, I don't know how to call it, different vib vibration pattern. Um, if you can change the color of your light, you can change it to, well, see, that's my basic sound. So that's for people that aren't my favorites. So my friend just said, hey, how's it going? I'm not going to respond to her yet. And for your favorites, you can pick a different um, LED color so that you can see on your phone when someone really important to talk to you versus someone, I don't want to say not so important, but of less importance to you, whatever. <laughs> and um, you can turn the their LED on and off. And then you have your notification ringtone where you select a ringtone, vibration pattern, um, the LED notification, and the light color. So you can set it up for the regular contacts and the your favorites contacts. And here it says notify favorites. Home screen just shows when favorites get online. And that's basically what that does. And then you have the view, view profile. If you, where's my friend? If you click on them and you click on their picture, it will go to their profile. And it's taking a while to load. And you see it's going to her profile. But I don't want to go to her profile. And also, for the different categories that you have people in, it will have those categories in this chat. So, it has your favorites, your open chats, and mine, um, Haas, which is a summer interning thing that I did. So, all those people who are in this category, um, one of, like my really good friends are in this category, and then everyone else is in this category, and that way it has so many people. And you can also sh see where it says show offline contacts so if you want to see people that are online offline but if you search them like if you search them if that'll open for me and you type in the person's name if even if they're offline it'll show you the person that you're trying to contact so that you can send them a really quick message so don't think that 
just because you have don't show offline contacts that you won't be able to view them at all. And you even have a favorites notification, like another, have, I don't know why it's the same thing in a different place. It has notify when online, when offline. And I like to know when they're online because I really, I'm a chatty person. And here you have the show thumbnails, which um, since the widget is the last event, it shows you the last event. So if a person sent you a message or if a person got online or offline, it'll show the person's image so that you can know who it is. And it has text size, default small, big, very big. And I'm really not going to go into that because you guys can discover that for yourselves. And you have auto caps, input lines, however many lines you want. And I pick three because one continuous line just is annoying. And it has save logs, which saves your last conversation. And I don't, and it really doesn't save your last conversation because I've had many conversations with people. And the next time I opened it up, it showed a conversation from a few days ago. And everything that we talked about before was gone it disappeared and I really didn't like that and you can delete aliases because I'll show you I don't know I like to sh oh I had offline friends my friend and then you can put change alias so I can just give him a random name like spider monkey that's not monkey that's monkey and click OK and then now his name is Spider Monkey. And if you go back to preferences, delete aliases, delete all your contacts, aliases, click yes, and then there you go. And then delete all, I don't know what this word is. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it because I'm probably gonna do it wrong. And then at the bottom it has licenses and about go chat. So that's really all the technical stuff with it and I guess that's fun. But something that I like are the themes, because everyone loves themes, right? So you have the default theme, and I guess I'll, sh I'll show you guys the themes, because I think themes are fun. And it's just really basic, just like what you see when you're online. Just the blue and white and the green for their being online. Nothing really, nothing fancy. And then here you have Android Circus, which is one that I use, because I personally love like the green and the blue and the gray and it just to me it looks really nice and then Android Angel which is soft with clouds and it's cute and you have an Android Angel right there and that's very cute or whatever and then you have Android Devil of course how can you have an angel without the devil and this one is just red and black I mean, I guess it looks nice for some people, but to me, it's way too hard, I guess. You have a Christmas theme, which I guess people use around Christmas time, and it's just ho-ho, merry jolly, bells, and little fun little things like that. Mm, and then you have your Valentine's Day theme, which was just released. And it's just filled with hearts and love and Cupid, and it's adorable. I'm going to go back to my circuits widget, or theme, my apologies. Close that, close that, and I guess um, you can hide certain groups, or you can hide groups where everyone is just under the same thing, and I hate that because I don't care about most people, so show groups. You can close all your conversations, so bam, no more conversations. And you can buy Pro, which there is a Pro version. I really don't know what's um, available on it, but to me, the free version works just fine. So that's awesome. And if you get out of it, you see it has no recent events because no one has done anything. But if someone logged offline or logged online, it would be like, oh, Jose logged on or Christopher logged off. Or someone sent you a message and it'll display the message content. And you click log out. And then it's the basic widget again. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this review over this random widget. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!